Hi, this is Dawn from Creative Apple Case. Today I wanted to do three short videos on um, extracting or unzipping a file, dragging the BX format into the um, Embrilliant software, and then typing out a name in uh, Embrilliance using your computer keyboard in the BX format, and then saving it. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is once you've purchased a font, you need to download the font to your computer. So I have saved mine to my desktop here. So the first thing you need to do is unzip it. So on a PC, what you would do is highlight it and then right click. And mine says extract all. You may have it say unzip. You may have a program that says winzip. So you need to look here to show, find where and what exactly how to unzip it. So mine says extract all. So I click on extract all and what it says is it says to select a destination and extract the files. So it wants to know where do you want this font um, extracted to? Where do you want to create a new folder? So if you don't want it on your desktop, mine right here says desktop. If you don't want it on your desktop, you could choose somewhere else um, by clicking browse and then navigate to the folder where you want to save it. But I'm going to just extract it here to the desktop. So I'm going to click on extract and you can see it starts working. So it's going to take a little bit of time because within the zip file is all the different formats. And so you would do this for each font you want to that you've downloaded and you want to extract. So you highlight the, the font, the folder, and then you right click on it and you would click on extract. That's how you do it on a Windows. So let's switch to the PC side and see uh, the Mac side and see how we would do it over there. So we have right here, this is the um, Zazzle font. And so on a Mac, all you have to do is simply twice click, do two left clicks on it fast and it will just open it up just that fast. And so you can see right here, the file is now blue. So this is unzipped from that, okay? And we will do this again. This is the scooter font. And all I'm gonna do is double left click on it. And it expands the file right there. Okay, so now that we have unzipped and extracted the files, we need to open the folder and get the BX format. So we open the folder and you can see all the formats here in the Just for Giggles. So we're going to click on the BX. So now we have the BX files here. Um, so what we want to do is we want to left click on it and we want to left click and hold on it and drag it over into the Embrilliant screen. Okay, and then you let go of it. And it says the font just for giggles 0.5 inch has been installed and you click OK. So you do that for each size because each different size is labeled um, individually. So this is the uh, three quarters of an inch. So left click on it and drag it over and you can see the um, and let go and click OK. So with this one, what for the one inch, I'm going to click on it, left click on it, and I'm going to drag it over and watch, you can see a green plus shows up. That means you can drag it in here and drop it and click and say, okay. So now we've done the 0.5 inch, the 0.7, uh, three quarters of an inch, and the one inch. So now we don't need to do it individually one by one by one. We can simply left click on the one, sorry, what left click on the 1.5 inch, hold down the shift key and then click on the two point, um, oh, the two inch. And that way it highlights all of them. Once all of them are highlighted, we can left click on them again and drag them over to see the green plus and then let go. And it says 1.5 inch has been installed, 1.25 has been installed, 1.375 has been installed and 2.0 has been installed and we click OK. So now all of the just for giggles are in there. Let's try this one more time. Let's do it with the scooter font. So now we open the scooter font and we go to the BX format and we look at all of these yummy sizes we have here from three quarters of an inch all the way up to three inch. So we're going to left click on the, on the three quarters of an inch, hold down our shift key on our computer keyboard, Click on the three inch 
and then left click and drag them all in all at once. That way we don't have to do it one by one by one by one. And now it says the three quarters of an inch has been installed, the uh, half inch, three quarters of an inch, one inch, 1 1.5, 1 1.25, 1.75, 1 2, 2.5, 2.25, 2.75, and the three inch have all been installed just that fast. That's a scooter. Let's do this one last time. We're going to open the Zazzle font now and we're going to go to the BX folder. We left click on the Zazzle and then hold down the shift key on the computer keyboard. Click on the two inch, let go of the shift key, click left click and drag them all into the Imbrilliant software, the half inch installed, three quarters, one inch, 1.5, 1.25, 1 1.75, and the two inch. They are all installed now. Now that we've installed all the fonts, let's get started with type using the fonts and then saving them. I hope this information was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to be informed when we upload new videos. You can find us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram as Creative Appliques. We are also on Twitter at C Appliques. And of course, all of our designs are available on our website, www.creativeappliques.com. Thanks for joining me today and make your life creative.